To me, a hummingbird is a symbol of fragile beauty. I guess where my ability comes in, to find the hummingbirds and to film them and to show them hummingbirds up close. So I've been a photographer for many years, but it wasn't until about 12 or 13 years ago when we discovered a hummingbird in the backyard that I went all out and got a video camera. It made me want to get capture a little bit more than just a few still photographs. And I found that the hummingbird was quite cooperative. You know, it just kept my a respectful distance the hummingbird just went about its life normally, and I could film it. And because it was in my backyard, I was able to keep the camera steady on it, you know, for hours at a time, and just see what they do. It was quite fascinating. So there's all these little interesting vignettes that you could never dream up in your mind. But by watching the little birds, I, I see so many little interesting things. That's a beautiful shot. I had spent about a year filming her, and in that time she'd had six nests, and that's really surprising. And it wasn't just surprising to me, it was surprising to everybody that I, talk, that I talked to, including all the bird experts. So I spoke to people from Cornell and from UVic, and they had never heard of a hummingbird having that many nests in a year. But I'd been able to document that because it's the same bird in my backyard and she would be in one nest uh, sitting on eggs while she was still feeding the chicks from her previous nest. So she actually had two nests at one time. And when the, when the chicks fledged, then she would spend her time incubating the eggs and feeding the other chicks out on the branches. So, so that was pretty surprising. This has opened up a whole new chapter in my life that I didn't expect to occur. I decided I'd go look for hummingbirds outside the yard. So I went to a little patch of protected land around here and I started looking. And surprisingly, I found one. Oh, there's one right there. The first day. So I started filming that bird. As I filmed that bird, I would start to find more nests. So I just started to learn how to find them. And most of the time, the hummingbirds would show me where it was. I'd see a hummingbird, and as long as I kept my eye on it, it would eventually go right to the nest. And so that's how I started. It was so unique, I'd like to show it to people. So I started to do that. Facebook was a fairly new thing at the time. It caught on, and it went quite well. I got about uh, 40,000 people following me and watching for the birds, and uh, it grew a community. Well, I've learned an awful lot, more than I ever thought I would. Well, hummingbirds are definitely fragile, and yet they endure some of the most harsh conditions that I've ever seen. Who knew that a hummingbird would be able to hatch its chicks in February in a snowstorm? And I've seen that several times, and it is totally amazing. If you want to see more hummingbirds, you have to take care of their habitat. So that's one of the reasons why I show people hummingbirds, is so that they become aware of where hummingbirds live and then they protect their habitat. And that's just good for everybody. If you'd asked me 20 years ago if I would be filming hummingbirds today, there's no way I would think that. And yet it's added so much to my life.